You look like at a place like this, you think about the shade and the comfort yeah. in this area. And yet if you came over here and you sat down, you'd be sitting right around. If you check here, you'd be seeing all these little black widows. That's what all of these various burrows are all about. Uh, yeah. Also to be found in an area like this are uh, our most dangerous scorpion, which is called a bark scorpion. Here you go, here's one. Doesn't look like much, but he's got quite the little stinger to him. In Africa, they say if it's got small pincers, it's got a lot of venom. That's right. If the, if the animal's pincers are very light, probably all that it's doing is holding its prey while it stings it, and then the venom actually does the killing. And if he stung you, what would you do? If he stung me right now, I would try to stay very calm and um, go and find help by walking out of here and uh, going to a road and trying to flag somebody down. And also, you notice I'm, hold I'm holding him with a pair of pliers and yet he got out. So, whoops. <laughs> you, uh, you, you, want, you, you don't want to mess with animals you don't know anything about. Yeah. Don't and, drop him again. I'll try not to. <laughs> Did it help your heart beat any? <laughs> I'm not so calm anymore. <laughs> Right. I think I'll let you go first. Ray's colleague, Barney Tomberlin, has been searching for a diamond-backed rattlesnake to show us, and he's found one. Wow, it's beautiful. It's a real nice diamond back. Looks like he's got a meal in him too, down here. What would happen if it bit you? If it's a big snake, it can be a dangerous bite. You can have some blood problems, and, and it swells and gets very ugly and so forth. And you don't feel good. It's very painful. 